uh, my son is 33 now, but when about 10 years ago, he was under the impression that all the policemen were sitting on his lap, putting their foot on his accelerator, and he was getting a lot of speeding tickets. And I kept on trying to tell him that that wasn't the case, that he really needed to take a responsibility. But as his mother, I would ask God to protect him from the element of speed. Now, he got several speeding tickets, and I believe that because I asked God to protect him from the element of speed, that he never had an accident. Would that be so? God can't protect a person who's breaking God's laws. God can only protect a person who's actually in harmony with God's laws. Can you see why? Because if the person is breaking God's laws, then already they are exercising their free will out of harmony with God anyway. And on top of that, God needs to allow. God is allowing of a person to exercise their free will. If a person is in harmony with God's laws, then you can ask for protection and often receive it. So I'm not suggesting that you don't ask God for protection. I'm, but I am suggesting that if you're asking God for protection, you don't already believe you've got it. So look at that emotionally. Because if you felt you had it, you wouldn't feel you need to ask for it anymore. If that makes sense to you. So when we ask for protection of other people who are doing harm or harmful things, often our spirit friends will have tried to address that issue and try to help that person, but they can only do it in harmony with God's laws. So they can get extra assistance, but only when things are in harmony with God's laws. So that's why lots of people have asked for protection of their sons or daughters with regard to speed or to cars or whatever, and yet they have still passed in a motor vehicle accident. Because the actual actions taken by that child during those events were not harmonious with the laws of God and therefore the spirits who are trying to help them cannot help them in that situation. So certainly, in those situations, as Mary was just pointing out, it would actually be more beneficial to pray that your son or daughter can bring themselves more into harmony with God's laws. That's a very loving prayer, and it's something that can affect the soul condition of the person. Your desire directed towards God for the welfare, the good welfare of another person at the soul level, has a big effect on that other person at the soul level. So you can always do that. And 